a number of people that I wanted a lot more. Nevertheless, uh, I think it's a landmark judgment. And uh, as you know that India, uh, till uh, this judgment came, did not have any uh, legal option for non-Hindus to adopt. None of the civil laws were there. Uh, so we, uh, no, I had adopted a daughter 17 yes. years ago. And it was at that time that I realized that non-Hindus can get only guardianship. And that guardianship is, legal, that legal relationship is till the child becomes an adult. If you are adopting a boy, then 18 years, the legal, uh, your, your guardianship is over after that. And in a case of a girl, 21 years, that, that is over. So I found it extremely, extremely problematic and insensitive. And the fact that, you know, you have a daughter, I mean, of course, because once you are raising a child, the child is yours and nothing is going to change in practice. But legally, if you ask me, then technically, after the child becomes an adult, he or she cannot even write what is the name of the parents. And, uh, you know, when it's adopting from adoption homes, uh, the children don't know where they, you know, about their families, about their biological families. So it's, a, it's, it's highly insensitive. And we thought it was very important that we fight for every child's right to family. And that is, that is what I'd find. That every child in India has a right to family. But Muslim personal world has already made it clear that they think it as infringement on their personal law, and they are going to I, challenge it. So no, I think they are. I think they are sadly mistaken, because uh, I think the judgment uh, Supreme Court has given a judgment which should have made them happy. In fact, and uh, it has it is not infringing on Muslim personal law at all. It is it, they have given. In fact, they have not even given a separate law. What they have done in an existing law, they have expanded the scope for uh, people of all communities to adopt. And it is an optional law. Nobody can force anyone to adopt. Muslims want to follow Muslim personal law. Nobody is stopping them. At the same time as the Supreme Court said that Muslim personal law cannot you know, curtail a citizen from adopting. It is not infringing at all on the law. I think I think they are mistaken by going to the uh, appealing against this. If if the Supreme Court had said what I wanted, <laughs> that you know it should be a fundamental right, then even you know I would have understood their unhappiness. But that has not happened, so they should be happy. There there is, there is one more like slightly problematic issue with the judgment where court observed that. Uh, till the time of, a, uh, in a way, it uh, talked of the uniform civil code, and mus some Muslim groups are also like unhappy on no, no, uh, how, in a way, Supreme Court is no, uh, no, speaking. No, no, I again, I think the Muslim groups are not understanding what the court is saying, because the court clearly said that unless the communities themselves are ready for it, we cannot bring a uniform civil code. So it is actually agreeing with them. It is not disagreeing with them. It should make me unhappy, not them. I don't know why they are unhappy. Thank you. Welcome. Number